Acts chapter 10 verse 38 said that how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wow. Mm. With the Holy Ghost and power. I am. Mm. Who went about doing good. Yes, sir. And healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Wow. How God anointed Jesus Christ. Wow. Before I say anything, don't forget that. It is God who chooses who to anoint. I heard one man of God say something that struck me. He said that. The greatest mystery in life is that <laughs> God is the one who chooses your destiny yeah. and your life. But you are the one who determines its fulfillment. Hey. Crucial. Can close with that. He said, Jeremiah, before I formed thee in the womb, I knew thee. And I have ordained you as a prophet. So people were ordained in the womb. But whether Jeremiah will be a good or a bad prophet depends on Jeremiah. Yeah. Ah. So your destiny is chosen by God, but its fulfillment is determined by you. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why in the Garden of Eden, you were no robot. They have a choice to choose. They, they can choose what? The tree of good and the tree of uh, life and the tree of good and life. And they chose. So the things I'm preaching today, you have to choose. It's a choice you have to make. Hallelujah. It's a choice you have to make. How God anointed. If Jesus did anointing on earth to survive, then me and you. The most frustrating thing is to follow Christ without oil. Because without anointing, you cannot be protected. There is no guarantee for your protection. When the enemy comes in like a flower, it's not your, it is the spirit of God that lifts our a standard. Now, a flower can carry a story building. Nothing can stand as an obstacle in front of a flood. A flood? I, I, some of the flood we have experienced, tsunami and hurricane, they flood in the whole city. In the Philippines, some of the cities were flooding. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, it's another dimension of attack. Mm. Mm. The important thing is not attack of the devil, but what is behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to me. Don't undermine the things I'm preaching this week. Mm. I want you, I want you to receive a heavy duty anointing, yeah. but it is not automatic. Kill anything that wants to kill you. Yes. They sent me a message. Somebody was watching yesterday. They said that uh, you are uh, the things you are preaching. They said that so, you know, sometimes some people try to correct you about the things you are preaching. You know they have not pastored before. They said David didn't. God didn't allow David to build the temple because he slept with women. <laughs> now let me tell you something. If it is blood in David's hand alone that made God, Solomon he started killing people before, before he built the temple. Yes. Are you getting it? But there is a connection with sex and power and, and murder. Sex has a connection eh, with bloodshed. Because you see, if Uriah came in, after David did what he did, he wanted to trick Uriah. Come from the battlefield, go and sleep with your wife. Then when he returned and the girl is pregnant, it looks as if the child is for Uriah. I don't know what the child is going to look like because the child will grow. You see, when you check David's children, all of them were handsome. Absalom was like a woman. So I don't know why Uriah, who has a broad face, is going to look at David's son, who, is a, who has a fear face. I don't know how that's going to happen. But you see, there is something about the thing you don't kill that try to kill you. When you finish your info, you try to, you try to work a plan. So when Uriah refuses to sleep with his wife, David killed him. So, even though God said you will not build a temple because blood is in your hand. Some of the blood were innocent blood. Yes. Because God will not tell you to go and kill and then ask you that what you did, blood is in your hand. God ordered Saul to kill all the Amalekites. He said don't spare them. Kill everything. Some killing God orders them. But he did he order you to kill Uriah. Isn't it interesting that we have unwanted pregnancy, but we don't have unwanted sex? What leads to pregnancy? So you follow a young girl, you impregnate the girl, you say, I didn't plan for it. But you do plan for the sex. No, this is where we are now. Everybody listening to preaching is coming from another angle. Jesus Christ is preaching. Not all the people want to come there for exhortation. 
The Pharisees and the Sadducees are coming to find fault in the preaching. They died in their evil. So we are not preaching to you. What do I'm telling you? God put condition on it. I couldn't find 10 righteous people, so I'm saving you on condition. I'm saving you because you are connected to a man I've covenanted with. In the first way, number one, the reason I'm saving you is that when I asked Abraham to leave, I didn't even ask him to call you. But you. Ah. That's another level. No, your name was not mentioned. Leave your father and mother, go to a land house. He passed through the family house and picked you. So he came to Bagay. Now, I'm saving you, but I'll put condition on it. You go, but don't look back. Has God changed? No. I have decided to follow Jesus without turning back. No. What I'm telling you is that you are still following Jesus, but you have some things inside. This is what I'm preaching. Hallelujah. There is something inside you that is not making you enjoy the fullness of the anointing. Because, I, listen, let me tell you something about the anointing. The anointing, how God anointed Jesus Christ. The anointing is a body removing and yoke breaking power of God. Number one is what? Body removing and yoke breaking power of God. So, the reason we still carry the yokes and the burden is that something inside us is not making the anointing flow in its fullness. Something. Look at someone and say, something is inside. You tell the person, something, something. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anointing is what empowers a man or a woman to function supernaturally. Everybody say supernaturally. Yeah. What empowers you to function supernaturally? I'm going to give you some things now. In a, you'll, be, you'll be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Anointed. It empowers you to function what? Supernaturally. It means that a natural man that super has been added. So when you are supernatural, you cease to operate in the natural. That is why things come to you very fast. Because the natural come from the supernatural. And everything in the natural come from the supernatural. So when you begin to operate in the supernatural, you operate in God's realm. <laughs> wow. Hallelujah. The reason we are struggling is because of life outside the supernatural. We are struggling because we all oh, the supernatural is very fast. <laughs> I read one day in the Bible that a king took on the presidential convoy on his way. And riding the presidential convoy with the horse and the chariot at that time, the hand of the Lord came upon a prophet and ran overtook the chariot. How can a man overtook an old man overtook a horse? The Bible said the hand of the Lord. That is the supernatural. So the problem is not those who have gone ahead of you. Let God hand God be upon you. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. He said, Saul said that. And that you, you will tend to become another man. First Samuel chapter 10 verses. You will become another man. So without that anointing, you are ordinary. Hey. And who gives ordinary attention? Hey. Hey. May you believe God this week that something will fall on all of us. Believe God. Yes, I will show you that you need anointing to marry. I don't understand what you are talking about. Okay, I'm glad you asked. You know that, oh, no, because there are women there. If you are not an anointed wife and they see your husband, they can trap him. The, the men who are going out there and they are coming home safe are the men whose wives pray. Because now in our generation, there are men hunters. And those satanic agents released from the pit of hell, they don't like single guy. They, guy, they like marriage men. If you are not prayerful, forget it. The way your husband is chasing women, eh? it is not natural. It is not natural. It is not natural. I had a testimony about a girl who has slain five richest people in his church. Five. Become a millionaire at a spot. Yeah. And he does it with a simple makeup and black something, pencil from India. Look at your face and you just, your mind, your brain begin to jam. And when he finished sleeping with you, whatever he asked you to sign, you sign. One man said, I gave him half a million dollars. You say, hey, you have not seen money before, so everything you say, hey, hey. Half a million dollars, he signed it and gave it to the girl. The other ones, no. The sixth one was a woman, when he tried to do it to your husband, the woman was in seven days dry fasting. May the Lord put some oil over your head. Now, this is a very testimony. When you look at the girl, a fire, the girl became blind. Blind. 
blind. He became blind immediately. When his eye opened, he shared his testimony. Drinking that. One lady came to me and said, Daddy, I want to go. I will leave. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. What is it? My husband, Daddy, I found condom in his pocket. I said, Oh, I see. It was as that the woman was giving her change and he mistakenly took it from the drawer and gave it to her. I said, okay, you found condom. I said, what about if you didn't found it? What will you have done? I said, when you run away, now that you are there, condom is in the pocket. When you run away, it will be on his face. I said, you don't know what you are talking about. You think men are outside there to plug them like banana. Go there. Two children, you are running away. Who should take care of them? Now listen, I told her, I said, listen, the next attack is not just you, it's about your children. When that strange woman comes, you stop him from taking care of the children. Your bed will be double. Stand and fight. I say, stand and fight. Don't let anybody just walk and take your marriage. Shook his head, came to stay here. Three days after, you on the third or the first day, the husband ran here. Run here and let's go home. He said, What is it? He said, Something has fallen out of my eyes. They are there standing there when the girl called her, the girlfriend. Those so get their girl, say, Listen, if you call me again, I'll kill you. Because of your bought a gun, I'll kill you. Enmity, God has put hatred between him and the girl. Three days fasting. Now, hear me. I gave a prophecy about it. You know, the husband to thank her for patience, he bought a Range Rover. Mm. He said, I, I want to thank you for your patience. Range over. I said, you could have mixed all these things. This thing, if you run away, to become the other lady's property. He yeah. yeah. said, what? A lot of people are in church. Ignorant. Ignorant about a lot of things. You don't understand it. Hallelujah. It's not your husband that is a woman. Now it's a Satan that sees destiny. There are people I met in countries that are trying to walk out of their matrimonial home. I just spoke a word. They turned their mind. Later, the men, they say they are women, they say they are pastors. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. This one like that. The men are pastors. Pastoring church on fire. You think the devil just wastes his ammunition or things that doesn't have a future? Wait. That is why we have to kill that thing inside mm. you because he has planted it there to destroy because of where you are going. Yes. Among all the people in Jerusalem, why is it that it's only David that Satan has put the spirit of humanizing inside there? I'm telling you. The anointed psalmist, the anointed king. David was almost like Christ. I'm telling you. He was the only one who infringed the Trinity and get away with it. David got away with everything. Saul did it. He didn't get away with it. God did. He said, so, uh, uh, Someone said, You have done foolishly. He said, Your kingdom could have been established. No, but somewhere was part of the problem. Somewhere was part of the problem that eliminated us. So because you see, only Jesus has qualified to walk in three anointings. In the Old Testament, there are only three people who are anointed. If you are not in the three, you cannot be anointed. You are either a priest, a prophet, or a king. Only three people can receive oil on their head. I'm going to show you something right now. Now watch this. Everybody is qualified to go to maximum two. If you get to three, you have entered the Trinity. So by the time you get to three, you must be destroyed. Because nobody can become Jesus. Jesus is the only one who said we have a high priest that can be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. He was called the king of kings. And he's also called himself a prophet. He said, a prophet without honor save his hometown. So he was operating all the anointing. Now watch this. When God sent somewhere to go and anoint Saul, he told him to anoint him as a king. Period. He asked him to go and anoint Saul as a king. Eh? But he did it. He just showed you the anointed side that he turned him to become another man. But that particular one, eh, it was not God's idea. Samuel used the prophetic authority on his life. And said that when thou art departed from me, you will meet a company of prophets, even though you are not a prophet. But the spirit of the Lord will come upon you, will become a prophet. So now Saul has two anointings. He was not supposed to be a prophet. That is why it was a proverb that is Saul also among the prophet because he was not supposed. So the last thing Saul would, Saul would do is to infringe in the place of the priest. Don't go there. Assuming someone only give him the kingship anointing and he enter the priesthood, he could have been saved. But now he carried two anointings. So when you enter the third one, then you have infringed on Jesus' realm of grace. And the dimension is where Jesus operates. And nobody can become like Jesus. Jesus cannot be replaced. He cannot be substituted. There is nobody like him. His kingdom is forever. So now, the work of the sacrifice of animal is for the priest. 
when Saul was going for battle, he was waiting for somewhere to come and sacrifice. And somewhere delay, and he decided to do it himself. So when he took a knife and went there and cut the animal's head on the altar, he has entered the priesthood. It means that now he has entered the third anointing. That is why God rejected him. He said, I will kill you. Mm -hmm. But David did it and survived. Actually, David's own, I don't even think survived because he was not really anointed as a prophet. But he was just operating in a prophetic anointing. But Saul received that anointing. So David too went to the temple and eat food only priests can eat. And survived. David, the more gifted you are, the more you have to be careful. This is what I'm telling you. The more the grace of God is on your life, the more you have to be what? <laughs> because your greatest enemy is not outside, it's inside. Can I say that again? Yes. Your greatest enemy is not what? It's not a spirit. It's not generational. Check it, it's inside. What, was, what killed David is inside. <laughs> I told you yesterday, can you imagine the lion couldn't kill David? The bear couldn't kill David. Goliath couldn't face him. But what is inside him ended his ministry. Now let me show you something. Actually, at a redemption, eh, everybody has the deposit and the seed of the Adamic nature. But at a redemption, it's supposed to die. It's supposed to. But me and you, God has killed some, but there's one B. Have you seen you are quiet? Everybody here. It has died, but there's a particular one be disturbing you. Yeah. You are strong. That is the one we are giving it attention this week. Yeah. The tone in your flesh. There is a particular one be that among all of them, occasionally it shows up. Sometimes as if it's dormant until the opportunity comes. What is inside you will kill you? How many years did David stay in the castle? How many years? How long has a bathroom without roof be around the palace? Oh, I don't think you read the Bibles I read. How long has that bathroom been there? And if that such a bathroom is there, and the king stands stand in the balcony and see it, how has he allowed it to be there? The president Kufado is walking at Jubilee House, and there's a bathroom behind there without roof. That when women are buff, you can see them. And all the protocol and the national security has allowed it. A lot of questions about the things that happened to you. And one day David was supposed to go to war, refused to go. And walking at the back on his saw this infantry girl buffing. Peshiba is from Cape Coast. Saw this lady bathing, and David looked at her, and what is inside her was activated. Mm. Mm. Couldn't handle it. You see, if you don't kill it, an opportunity is coming. Yeah. Saw her. Mm. Instead of commanding bodyguards, hey, who is that? Go and tell the woman to stop and destroy the bathroom. David could watch her go to the bathroom and come. You can see David take a chair. So one soldier, hey, monitor that lady from bathroom, bring her to me. And those were kings with authority. And Sheba went there and saw her face. Can't just sleep with a woman without asking her questions. Who are you? She looked like a married woman. She looked. That is your husband. So, so it means that the Bible claims Julia to be a bodyguard of David. It means that they were living around the palace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was not the first time you saw her. She was guiding David. What is inside you eh, can sleep with people that are loyal to you and destroy them if you don't control it. Look at the loyalty of his bodyguard. Because the king couldn't go to war, skillful soldiers like him must be there helping Joab them. To win the battle. When the king called him to come and sleep with his wife. She said that the ark of the Lord is at the battlefield. And my college soldiers are there. Why on earth should I go and have pleasure? 
to kill the spirit of the military, I will not go. It's not that I'm not looking for it because if you are married before and, and not married, let me ask a woman, if your husband travel for two months and come, does he just find you and sleep? Thank God for one woman who is faithful. And so he has been on the battlefield for a long time and came home. So I mean, this is a, but this guy is so loyal. I'm not going. The next week that David gave him drink, the kings know the kind of alcohol they give you to, 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 to wake something inside you. That could even still wake Uriah up. This one, I was meditating on something. Dangerous when the opportunities come. Now, one woman, one young girl in the Bible danced, and after he finished dancing, he caused a prophet's head. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. It's another message. In the evening, I'll show it to you. That somebody's entertainment can kill you. Hey, hey. Hey. That this young guy, so we are dealing with sorceries and divinator. It's not a normal dance. The dance is motivated by something. So one day can sleep with the president of a country and it will cost people's lives. So I stand there, kukru, kukru, and Herod was standing there and say, Hiya, kata, kata, kata. What kind of dance? He say, have the, ask me anything, have the kingdom. For dancing. This girl ran to a safe mother. This is what the king is asking me. He said, tell him, I want to the Baptist's head. What kind of dancing can you dance that cause a prophet's head? What? Continue playing with the woman. Out there. Continue. If you meet a girl who can dance a prophet to die, is that the one you have to marry? You will be anointed this week, heavy duty. Yeah. I don't mean to pretend God. Amen. But after you are anointed there, don't destroy it by the thing inside you. Yeah. Don't. Don't. Because it is difficult to lose an anointing. It is better you are not anointed than having it and losing it. If God gave you a drop, go keep it. Hallelujah to Jesus. <laughs> I said something here. We destroy everything around us by what is inside us. We destroy our own marriages. We destroy our homes. We destroy things or we destroy them. Do you know people have destroyed the church more than the devil? Mm. Oh, yes. Math. We destroy so many things. We destroy it. We are not careful about the grace of God in our life. So women has destroyed their home by certain characters they have not killed. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 1 tells you that they have destroyed their home by certain characters. They have destroyed. Look at it. Every wise woman built her house. So anybody that can build can destroy. Every wise woman built her house. What do you need to build your house? Wisdom. Every wise woman, but a foolish pluck it down with his hands. So some women as use their hand to tear their marriage down. This is the word of the Lord. There's something inside you. I pray that this week, in fact, this, this evening is a killing time. Amen. It's an evening of God coming here to just take a straw and soak that thing out of your body right now. Amen. So that you'll be free. Amen. I'm preaching. Let me take you to the place of the anointing. <laughs> Somebody say, oh yeah. I can't hear you. Oh, yeah. huh? oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you have to be anointed. I was telling you something about anointing. Wow. Anointing is that which enables you to do supernatural things. Anointing. Anointing. Somebody say anointing. It opens doors for you. And that's what? It opens doors that are long being shut. So when the door is shut and you're anointed, anointing can open the door. But I want to take it to a place and show that there are restrictions. Restrictions. Everybody say restrictions. restrictions. Things you cannot do because you are anointed. Let's start from there. There are some things you cannot do because you are what? Anointed. So it means that there are restrictions. In, once you carry the anointed, restrictions come on you. There are things you cannot do because you are anointed. 
So when God anoints you, you don't live your life. Mm. That's right. Hey, I mean, I'm a life, I'm a I'm a You will kill yourself. Hallelujah. You will kill yourself. It could have been any ordinary person who slept with Bathsheba, but because he's from David, God even said that you have given occasion for God's enemy to blaspheme because of where you stand with me. So a lot of things will happen in the spirit. So many things will happen in the spirit. When you are anointed, there are some things you cannot do. See people in church, deacons, deaconess, this, leaders, associate pastors, senior pastor, bishop, pope, all kinds of things. Doing things, forgetting that God has anointed them. Anytime you are anointed and taking a girl in a church, in a choir, to a room, and removing a bride, you are forgetting what is on you. When you are anointed, God doesn't want you to be selfish. Because all that destinies are connected. Now, listen. Can you imagine, thank God, but can you imagine David slept with Bathsheba before Goliath showed up? How will he have killed him? So do you know after that what David did? Do you know the other things that Israel makes because of his error? If Goliath showed up, David slept with Bathsheba and that no crazy thing before Goliath showed up, how will he have the confidence to face that guy? There are some things you can't do. I say, kill it before it kills you. Amen. If you kill something, it can kill you. If you silence David, it can silence you. Oh, Jesus. Promising nest of king, Absalom. A man with a hair at his knee. Babu took him from the realm of women and put him in the realm of, realm of men and put him in the realm of women. The Bible says he was a beautiful countenance. As Absalom has left the place of men, he's now among women. Beautiful countenance. So Absalom looked like a woman. If you don't care that thing, this young boy spread his father's wife on a rooftop, sleeping with them. Pay for it. David forgive him, but the throne did not. What is inside you will bring you to a place where it is a, a very frightening scripture in the Bible that when the soul stopped fighting, the three started fighting. Mm. It's a strange scripture from the King James. The day Absalom died, all the soul because God has, David has won Joab them, spared the young man. Joab put their sword that the three took over. Mm. It means that the throne didn't forgive him. Show me the way uh, uh, somebody is running and the three can hang his hair and died in the weight of his hair. Kill it. We are not sugarcoating anything. We are not denying you. We are not stopping you from prospering. We are not saying don't be a millionaire. Be. Because I need your money to complete potters. We are not saying don't prosper. Prosper. But prosper with the consciousness of God in your mind. No. He said that showed. God said that. I save you from the hands of your master soul. And I gave you his heart and his wife. It means that when Saul was pursuing with David, it's not David's scale. It is God that protected him. The kind of things that come after you, you are surviving because of God. It is the oil on your head that is saving you. Because touch not my anointed, you are in the group. If that oil is left, that is why at a point there, when he says it, he told God, he said, oh, listen, 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 listen. Let's settle this matter. Let's settle it. it, it, it you see, the, the, what happened with Bathsheba led him to Psalm 51. You can take the throne. You can take the fame, but take not your spirit away from me. It means that David came to the place and saw that she was empty. He could feel vulnerable. He felt that any battle the next time I would die. So he said, take not your Holy Spirit away from me. Restore the joy of my salvation. It means that the oil is important than the truth. Yes. Actually, it is even the oil that led you to the truth. So it, it cannot be substituted. There are restrictions that pertain to truly anointed person. Like the priests of the Old Testament. We are also what the Bible calls a, a royal one. Priesthood. And there are reasons for restriction because the holy oil 
had been poured on you. The reason for restressing is that oil has been poured on you. When you come to church and we keep pouring oil on your head, you don't become an ordinary person again. Restrictions. If, if no oil has poured on you, there are certain things that has happened in your life that make people, without ordination, without any consecration, when you became born again, your attitude make people call you a soft mommy. What have they seen? Your family people don't respect you. Your It means that something has been identified inside you. There is something about anointing. Eh? When it comes upon your life, people give you names according to how you operate. I never stood in the pulpit and said from today I'm a prophet. Never. Never. Never stood anywhere and said anybody should come here. Never. Naturally, people saw the evidence of it from bedding power and they started calling me prophet, prophet, prophet. So when you are anointed, even the devil knows. Yes. Hallelujah to Jesus. You have to understand that when a person is anointed, he or she is sanctified by the anointing. When you are anointed, you are sanctified. Leviticus chapter 21 verse 8. When you are anointed, you are what? Sanctified by the anointing. Sanctified. The word sanctified means set apart, consecrated. Now watch this. Thou shalt sanctify him thereof. For he offered the bread of thy God. He shall be holy unto thee. For I the Lord... Which sanctify you, I am holy. This is Moses getting instruction about the children of Aaron who are going to minister in the temple. And I will bring you deeper. I will go deeper into it. And they have to receive the holy anointing oil. So the anointing, when it comes upon you, number one, everybody says sanctification. It sanctify you. And number two, everybody says consecration. Consecration means it sets you apart. So you are, you are different from your family members. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't understand what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. Yes. I say you are different from what? Your family members. No, I am different from everybody in my family. Yes. Oh, yes. I am different. No. My uncle who works somewhere in America cannot compare himself to me. Yes. I am set apart and consecrated. What I operate in is supernatural. What you operate in is supernatural. That is why the things others in the family struggle, you get it through. Yes. Some of you... Uh, uh, Everybody in the family has not married, but you are enjoying marriage. You can look at your background and see that God has been very good to you. Can I have a witness here? Yes. Some of you can look at where you come from. Restrictions. Somebody say restrictions. No, no, no. You, you, you can't talk. Say restrictions of the oil. Why are restrictions on the anointing? Why are restrictions on anointed people? Why should we have restrictions on anointed? Because anointed sins are sanctified by the anointing. When I lift up oil and a pole, you, know, you are sanctified by what? Anointing. Leviticus chapter 8 and verse number 30. Anointed people, are, they have done what? So when I lift up the oil, that is why. Have you noticed that? When God is ready to choose a king, we don't need voting. I'm not saying it's bad because we can concord something and bring it to God and God will accept it. When Israel said they want a king, give it to him. But democracy is not in the Bible. What is in the Bible is called theocracy. Theocracy. So God picks an ordinary person who is a shepherd boy. And the moment you put the oil on him, bam, he becomes ordinary. He becomes super, some extraordinary person. Education matters are not important. The wisdom of God in the oil descends upon them, bam, and they begin to rule. The reason for the restrictions is that. I told you, you cannot be anointed, do whatever you like. Anointed saints are sanctified by what? The anointing upon their life. Now watch this. And Moses took up the, and the anointing oil. What, what is in my hand? It will change you completely. Yeah. Because sometimes, it's not the oil that changes. Listen. So sometimes, the reason you don't get the benefit of the thing is that understanding is not there. Listen to this one. Listen to this. Is any sick among you? Let him call the elders of the church. James chapter 5. Let him pray over him. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Not anoint you. In the prayer of faith. Not the oil. The person understanding 
about the prayer of faith is more powerful than the oil. It means that when I don't have the prayer of faith and I pour the oil, it becomes a chemistry. That's what makes the difference. So when understanding comes, it comes with the release of light. And when the light comes inside, a little physical action takes you to the supernatural. Because you know what you are doing. You are not afraid. You are not under apprehension. You are not under any pressure. You just believe it will happen. Yo, not everybody here will be threatened by death. Because they know whom they have believed. Not everybody here. The devil cannot threaten me with death. It's not possible. I am he that lived. I was dead, but I'm alive forevermore. I have the keys. When I meet the spirit of that, I tell him, you don't have the key. What do I show you is a counterfeit one. And Jesus doesn't have the key to my disadvantage. Why do you believe you have not died? I have not finished it. The years of my life is 80 by strength. I must get to 120. With long life, I will satisfy you. So no devil can kill me before my time. Oh, death, what is thy sting? Oh, grave, what is your victory? Where were the devil when Jesus took the key of death? So the reason devil is threatening you is because you have no understanding. No, you have no understanding. You are because death is a spirit. And God who loves you will not send death to you because the last enemy God will destroy is death. So death is God's enemy. That is why God never satisfied man dead. It's a man that satisfied man. They say he was dead for four days. God came to wake him up. If God is the one that satisfies people dead, you won't go and raise Lazarus after four days. Right. Master, by this time he's thinking, he said, that thing is my enemy. Let me go, the Lazarus come forth. That's what it is. If God says you satisfy with your own life, why are you allowing the devil to kill you? To kill you? you know what? This, the, the devil kill Christian. He just come and throw something and say, are you available for killing? When you say yes, he just kill you. Hey. Straight. Hey. Mm-hmm. That's it. This now, and that I know you have told him, I'm not available for killing. I don't care whatever sickness. No, listen. Do you know something? Oh, I pray that you catch it. Sickness don't kill. It's the devil that kills. You use sickness as agent. The Bible didn't say sickness. He said the thief come at all, but for to steal, to destroy, and to kill. It didn't say sickness kill. One of the dagger and the gun he uses is sickness. No. But behind that sickness is a devil. And that's why Jesus Christ received the strife for your healing. So it has been paid for. Every sickness in your body is illegal. If you command it to live, it must live. And if you stand by faith and refuse to accept it, HIV, whatever, it has no power over your life. Because he was wounded for your transgression. So ask the devil, was Jesus beaten? Were you there? Then why are you bringing this sickness on me? It has been paid for. Now listen, by natural law, no item must be paid twice. So if Jesus paid for it, I don't need to pay for it again. You are not hearing what I'm talking about. No. If Jesus has paid for it, I refuse to allow you to put it on me. No. No. I can never be sick. It's not a religious idol talk. There is nothing that we say you are bloody. I wouldn't even think about it twice. It's not a discussion. Hallelujah. No. Flash it off. No. What is inside me? Ha! Can you imagine Jesus is admitted at Kalebu Hospital? And Peter them are holding banana and kaffa and light soup. He said, Master, what's the temperature? Can you imagine? From today, no hospital bed will accommodate you. La Savasui Anima Kotaya. Libra Sidabaya. From the mountains of Jehovah. And by the prophetic oil. Combined with revelation. Every sickness inside you. I cast it in the name of Jesus. It is dead. Listen. When I care something. Eh, I am reacting on fundamental scriptures. Do the reason I care the secret. And Jesus cares the fig tree and it dry. So every sickness in your body dried now. Amen. You, you got to believe it. You got to believe it. You got to believe it. You got to because he sent his word and healed them. Is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no physician in Gilead? 
Sit down. Nurturing sickness. Mm. Boasting that I have three doctors. Yeah. Most of the doctors, they are believing God for healing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Use their frustration to not frustrate you. No. But therefore, I saw people in the Bible. A poisonous snake was fasting inside there. They shook it off and felt no harm. No codeine, no paracetamol. Never. 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 Mosquitoes are biting you, you are afraid. Some people went to lion's day and, and used lions as pillows. <laughs> what is your God? No. Some people were in a fire heater seven times and they have no power on their body. It's not their body, even their clothes. The Bible says it was not smelling fire. This is the God you said. I said, this is the God who said, from today, no way to threaten your life. No reason to threaten your life. Whenever they gather, they mention your name. May they die at the spot. Anyone that will let you rest, the Lord will cause them to rest in peace. Anybody behind your trouble Christ. has 24 hours to repent. Jesus. Tomorrow by this hour, hey. they will know you serve the living God. Hey. And God brought you here for a race. Hey. There is no enchantment against you. Hey. There is no divination against you. Hey. Hey. hey! The people that do know their God, hey. they shall be strong. I was in London, pray for a 55 years woman. You are going to have twins. It's a realm of the prophetic. When the garden moment to get to a certain room, there's a room you get to. You, you say it and God honors it. He said, There shall not be rain or dew, but according to my way. And it's a supernatural bucket. The man of God that invited me was trouble. I say you are going to carry twins. He went to his verse and he said, Prof, you have to be careful. He said, it's not even the prophecy. The woman is being, he's on chemotherapy for cancer. People talk about chemotherapy. Today I will introduce something called faith therapy. It has no side effects. Ah. It has no trouble. Ah. Hey, somebody hearing me? Yes. He sent his word. Hey. 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 Yeah. Receive your healing now. Faith therapy. It has no side effect. Ah. Do you know I'm preaching like this, eh? Faith is the answer to death. Mm-hmm. Amen. Martha said, but this time he's thinking. He said, did I not tell you that if thou canst be me, it means that faith is the answer to death. Above all, taking the shield of faith, you shall quench. So faith is a fire extinguisher. Fire Satan. Spiritual fire extinguisher. It can kill everything that you have The problem is you don't want to believe. Don't make yourself available for Satan to kill you. Hey, I'm not available. No. Not. You are not available. No. Can I tell you this? There is something you must do. If you go to heaven premature, nobody can do it. That is why God says he will satisfy with a long life. Yeah. So that you can do what you are supposed to do. Yeah. One of my mentors was driving with his wife. And the car has two flat ties in the front. Popo. The wife said, Jesus, Jesus. He said, shh, just once. <laughs> two is abuse. Once. Hey. Yes, sir. When you are fed, there's no struggle. He said, no, 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 honey. The first he said, Jesus, Jesus, you don't believe. 
at the mention of the name, he didn't say names. So in the name of Jesus, Jesus. just go to sleep. <laughs> you have re- you have released the server to take care of it. He said, I was in a water one day. Four hefty arm robbers came there. Holding gun. He said, I didn't... Okay, they are knocking. He said, I open myself. Valanda, they were standing there, heavy. He said, they, they look like dwarf. I really I said, in the name of Jesus! Yeah! They dropped their guns and ran away. All the tarismites in their ways were suspended. You know what? You are a victim of anybody you have anything you are afraid of. Don't tell me it has ever happened to you. You are afraid. When I married my wife, she forgot it. One day, we were fighting in the car. Remember that car, that small car. We got to, uh, you know, STC area there. There were some people standing there with guns. That day, you told me you shouldn't have stopped. I forgot him myself. They were robbers. I stopped. They were holding guns. My wife forgot it. God remind me that day, three days ago. I stopped the car. They were there. I stopped. They look at me and say, where are you going? They were holding guns. As I'm going forward, it's okay. Bye-bye, sir. I pass. Hey, hey. Now, listen. One day, Hansonic, a madman was running. And everybody was running. My wife was there. The ma- everybody, the guy was, he got to me. I didn't know. He nailed down. He ran. I was, I just came from car. Everybody said, hey, be careful. Be careful. He got to in front of me, he put the candles there. Wow. Power. The One anointing. man looked at him and said, What is on you? The anointing. Power. Oh, yeah, Shaka. I have a covenant with God. If you touch me, you are dead. Yeah. Stay out. Yeah. It's not a religious idol talk. No. Hallelujah. It's not that I know what I'm talking about. Yes. The, the, the things we have driven away from here, I have no idea. <laughs> the ground where you are standing, mm. we saw cows coming from rivers. Yeah. Cows, life. At a point, crows will be flying, they will fall down, pump and die. A force will break. This place is no fly zone. Yeah. If you are a witch, come and fly here and see. From today, you receive that anointing on fire. <laughs> and that confidence. Hallelujah. Amen. I say, anyone that will let you rest. Ah. After 24, they will rest in peace. Amen. Somebody shout oil. 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 No. Hallelujah. Amen. Oil. <laughs> If you see people carry oil prophetic, don't mess with them. <laughs> Some soldiers came, 50 soldiers with ammunition, AK-47, G4. <laughs> the prophet was on the mountain. K Yabakoy said, Man of God came down. Oh, so you know I'm a man of God. <laughs> oh, you call me that. You, are you so stupid? Man of God. You, so you know I'm a man of God. And you say I should come that roast. <laughs> Immediately. Second one came, man of God. Elijah said, You too, you didn't learn sense. <laughs> Chinchinga immediately. The third one came and said, Sir, I'm on duty. I dare not touch you, I'm on duty. That's a wise man. May you receive wisdom. He <laughs> was wise. He said, Sir, I dare not touch you. I am just on duty. Spare my life. That is a wise soldier. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Do you want to be anointed? Yes. Respect anointings. Yes. Nobody can carry anointed with respecting oil. No. When we see people anointed, honor them. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is Lord. <laughs> Do you want to carry oil? It's as simple as that. Kill that thing. Kill it before it kills your oil. Samson took the jawbow of an ass, killed 7,000 soldiers. Not 
thousand uh, Makola sellers, soldiers. If you say military man, he has been trained. And military people are trained to kill. They are not trained to arrest. They are trained. It's a soldier who can arrest you and lift you up. No, it's a police. Soldiers don't, they don't rest, they arrest. No. They, are, they don't know how to carry people. They, they just know how to kill. So for you to take a, now if you can kill thousands with a job one if you get a sword, what will you do? So it means that what threatens something is not the Philistines. That is why Sandy apologized to Sister Delilah. Because my ignorance used to think that it was, pastors have even preached the spirit of Delilah. How did it come to you? How did that spirit come to your territory? I used to think it's Delilah that killed you, something. And the Lord told me, say, look at it very well. Delilah is too fragile. A man that can kill thousands of soldiers, what is a woman? When the Samson was going to chase a woman, a, a lion appeared from the bush. Something turned the lion like a rabbit. That's what the Bible says. Quay! The lion died. Is that the way we kill a lion? Like a, he killed it like a rabbit. Something. So, I told you, I said that what is inside something is not on earth. So, nothing on earth can kill it. No soldiers. It's divine. Yes, sir. Nothing. Philistines couldn't kill him. All his enemies couldn't kill him. What kills something is inside something. Mm. Hey! Whether you clap or not, I'm telling you, what is going to kill you is inside you. That womanizing, if you don't kill it, it will kill you. I was meditating around 4 o'clock when I wake up and I was, I was studying from 3 o'clock and then I came back with a, a scripture. It's a message out there, filthiness of the flesh and filthiness of the spirit. So God showed me that sometimes what is killing people, some of you, your own is in the flesh. Some too is in the spirit. Second Corinthians chapter 7 from verse 1. Huh? Are you getting it? What is, look at somebody and say your own. It's either in the, in the flesh. Some of you, you have used the t-shirt to cover it, but it's there. Huh? Said some of you rasta has covered it, but it's under the hair. He said, So men here, I'm telling you, they have a problem. Huh? Having therefore this promise, second Corinthians chapter seven. Is it first Corinthians seven? Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse. Everybody say cleanse. cleanse. Do like they say cleanse, cleanse. Let us do to cleanse ourselves. It means that God is not the one going to do the cleansing. Yes. Girl, we have to do it what? Ourselves. Let us cleanse ourselves from all. Not to how many? All. It means there is no one. Some of you, your thing is multiple. I account unforgiveness spirit. A woman and his husband came to me and they came, the man said, Papa, we came to see you. Me, I want peace. Papa Ntokwani does. The fighting is too much. I want to have peace. I say, say, Papa, I don't know where to start from. But I, I just try to say that. Whatever I've done. But I don't know. It's not that I've done anything sinful. But we just have misunderstanding. Every day we are having misunderstanding. My wife will not let us converse for 30 minutes. I say, Madam, what is it? He brought five diaries. One of them is very old. Maybe 10. In your opinion, he said, he said, prophet, 1999, 413 a month. I said, my you have lost your mind. It will be an insult on my anointing to sit here and listen to you. Do you know something? Sometimes, I know, I know, we talk about fornication and adultery. It's called filthiness of the flesh. Sins of the flesh. But God will judge spiritual sins faster than physical sins. What is spiritual sins? I'm glad you asked. Unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment, ayaka, You can show dress and put it on people without measure them, and it will fit them. Filthiness of the flesh. How many Christians are walking in it? How many Christians? Some of you are holding your former boyfriend. Some of you are holding. What do you want him to do? 
When you give him the farm, can't he weed? He has cutlass. <laughs> High pitches. The funny thing is, can you do baby? Also, a bread. Can you arrest him? Don't you him? And you are walking there. Your mouth has protruded above your nose. Is it me that you are blaming? Cut it clear. For instance, brother. He said, anyone that hates his brother is a murderer. Yeah. Do you know what he's trying to say? He said, you can either kill with a gun or your mouth. Mm. Yeah. So some people, they have never used a gun. But what you said about somebody has killed a person. Yes. When you hate your brother, you are a murderer. Hatred in the church. Hatred everywhere. We don't know where your Christian life is going. Jesus Christ. Some people behave as if they don't know Christ. There's something inside you. Filthiness of the flesh. Ubufa no abo TV. No a kafrej abofem. Who was to say, Papa, Papa, me, 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 when you get to your father's house, then you face the realities of life. Because you don't go back to where God picked you out from. No. 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 Filthiness of the flesh. This is it. Kill it. Kill the arrogance. Kill the pride. Somebody's talking to us about, do you know the kind of men I went out with before you met me? Hmm. Where married there? We were talking about the boy say, Daddy, I am not the man. Mm-hmm. And my standard is too low for my wife. She didn't tell me earlier, I would have advised myself. Mm-hmm. But I'm even glad he told me. You should go and look for the man. When we find that one of them was a drunkard. Mm-hmm. Now let me tell you your stupidity. Some of you here. When you are in the world and you have these guys who borrow people's cars and then high rented cars and take you inside and take you to Kimpiski, you have lifted yourself thinking you are a high timer. But God knows that you are not even a low timer, you are a well inside timer. You are nothing. You can be working and you are heavy duty deception. Trying to be something God has not made you. We need the humility to carry the oil. We need it. We need it. When power comes and you think you have arrived. Checking. There are pastors, all they are thinking is somebody's ministry. That's what they are looking inside. Is he growing? Why is it this? This one is bigger than me. If you see a church growing, it's not the pastor, it's God. City is not prophet and answer is God. Pastors cannot handle success of other men in the ministry. One church is another church come, the other church is praying against them. The Lord help us. Charlie, how powerful the kingdom is when we, like we are united. The devil is interested. Amen. From today, God will fight your battles yeah. for you. Amen. Amen. That's what. Amen. God will fight your battles for you. Amen. That's what it is. Stay around God. Don't pet that thing. This thing that has made it married this beautiful woman, I'm looking around other women, it must die. Amen. You know, some woman, one girl came to me and said, I don't have love for my husband again. I said, the team want to kill you. Because yourself, you know the spirit. That the moment you begin to say you don't have love, Satan is pushing you into adultery. Yes, because if you, you don't have love, let me tell you, marriage is not a failure. There is a place, no? It doesn't go that way every time. The kind of challenges, the kind of assignment, based on, I said, the things that come in, at the point you can't base it on your failure. No, no, no. There's a realm of marriage you come to. Even the beauty must not come from outside. It's not now that I'm going to tell mommy to look at a 16 years girl. 
I am more concerned at the beauty from his inside and outside. No. 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 If he's loud, he has tear his home down. She learned to be quiet when this crazy guy is talking. Because this guy, he can be something. <laughs> no. He has kept his home. Kill that pride. The fact that your salary is more than your husband assumes you are the head. Kill it. You are looking at me with your beard. Kill it. Before you marry this lady, this is not the way you look like you. You are forgotten where you come from. God told so. He said, when you are small in your eyes, I call you. He reminded David, when you were a shepherd boy in the bush, I call you. If you start misbehaving, God will remember you where he pick you from. And when God, nobody can let you feel bad like God. He will reduce you and deal with you. I walk around America. I see some guys who left Ochi Bompeso, Jolokwita, Amedofe. And when they, they become arrogant, come and see them talking to their wives. They forgot it. They, one of the most dangerous things in life is to forget where you come from. As for that thing, don't, don't ever forget to. The moment you forget where God pick you from, you make a lot of mistakes. It is what must keep you humble. You didn't come here by your hard working. It is the mercy of God. Restrictions on anointing. Am I preaching good at all? Yes. You are not here because you went to a good school. No. Some people went to your school, they don't have a job. Ah. I know people who completed Cambridge and Oxford, no job. You finish as I say, you have a job. <laughs> Central, you have a job. Cambridge, Oxford, no job. I've seen people where eh? they, 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 they work hard, no job. Do you know, I've seen people go to interview where eh? someone has PhD. Some are second, uh, two masters. Some are first degree. They pick the first degree person. I've seen it. One girl, I prophesied, I said, the man told me, we are not supposed to pick you, but I had a dream. Mm -hmm. wow. hey. uh, hey. Thank God visited me. Is that the, the way they call them? HR. He said, it can cost me for picking you. The only thing is that you just have to be here and excel. Mm -hmm. And because he had a dream, the guy went to the company and in the company. Mm. I'm telling you, hey, hey, it was too much. He said, the chief executive came and said, promote this guy. He said, somebody, somebody on top of the HR resigned, something happened. He said, put the guy there. Mm -hmm. He said, sir, how can I put a guy that I employ higher than me? He said, don't worry, just support. The guy has what he takes. What's what he takes? I will tell him that you are still his boss, but go there. Mm. No. When the guy came to me, I told him, I said, don't undermine that guy. In the natural, it looks like you are higher than him, but he's the one who make a way for you. Amen. Amen. Pride. Kill it. Kill, it. Kill it. How many people are proud? One of the certain is poor people that are proud. Amen. Pride. You don't have anything, but you are proud. And some people say, I'm in the shape, I'm in the shape. That's where you are. Bible said, why should man build his house? I told one woman in America, I said, madam, sometimes, it's not every time, I say, nobody has received a trophy for winning marriage argument. Wow. <laughs> have you read? Nobody has received an award for over speedy. When we are in traffic and somebody behind a bro home, pa, 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 it doesn't mean you have to move because of the person's home. He's the one making the noise. Yeah. Take your time, watch left, watch right, watch left again. Because sometimes when you turn, the witches will bring a car to watch. What is killing Africa is in Africa. Yeah. What is killing Ghana is in Ghana. Yeah. What is killing Nigeria is in Nigeria. What is killing a political party is in the party. Yeah. And what is killing you is in you. So, as of it's not NDC killing MPP, it's MPP killing MPP. That's right, that's right. No, yesterday I meditated about something. 
and I said, somebody came to me, and the person talked and talked about how uh, the government is not doing well. I said, have you ever said that a government is doing well before? No government. If a government do well, did you, will you have overthrown Kwame Nkrumah? He built things that we have never, the motor we built for a while, we have not built a type. We have taken toll for 60 years without building a type. Concrete road, we have never tried. But do you know the problem? It's not the government, though, it's the people. The attitude of the people, there is nothing government can do about it. What is killing Ghana is in Ghana. What is killing your family is in your family. May you kill that thing before it kills everybody. What is killing your marriage is in the marriage. Somebody must sit and say, this thing must die. That's it. What? What? There are countries that are on the same economical level with Ghana when they took off, like Singapore, like Malaysia. How did they change? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. It's there. When the righteous is surrounded by the wicked, justice is perverted. Oh, I'm preaching. Jesus. <laughs> Too much. We don't want to hear the truth. If you don't take care of other people's things, God will never bless you. You will never be qualified. Never, never. Yes. This is the attitude. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a reason Satan is attacking the church because that is his threat. Mm-hmm. African solution is in Africa. Yeah. The solution to that thing inside is you. Mm-hmm. Because it's anointed that break yoke. That thing is not something you can control. Mm-hmm. The Holy Ghost must go to the foundation of your soul and pull it up. I was casting a demon from somebody. The Lord said, command them to go with their root. Mm-hmm. I never heard about it. I saw them. He said, because of that, I'm, a number of years they've studied, they've taken root. Mm. So they must go. If you leave the root, it will spring up again. Stand to your feet. What a blessing. God bless you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this message. For further inquiries, contact World Prayer Center, PO Box, GP21421, Accra. And for all inquiries, call these numbers, 0274-009933, plus 233-303-413-705. Email info at potters.city, and our website is potters.city.